All right, your marathon debut. Are you, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Um, what's the goal for Sunday? Just go there and compete. Compete. I don't have specific goal for the time wise and the position wise, but I'm just gonna go there. I'm with the lead back as long as I can and compete as to be patient and brave the whole time of the race. So that's the main thing. So you have seven US titles. Seven. Why make your debut in the marathon this year? Why New York? Uh, New York is, they've, they've been really great to me. You know, those plans is great. I've been coming out here all the time for the 5K, but I normally come for the 5K specifically to watch the marathon. You know, I was lucky enough to be invited to the New Diego back in 2019, and it was amazing. And I was like, you know, why not do it? You know, everything is great, the city is great, you know. I, I, I just want to come here to run a little bit further, you know. The fastest I've run here is 13.1 miles, and you know, debuting in New York is amazing to me. I love this city, and I'm excited. And everyone say New York is hard, so I want to do it in, in hard course. That's what people say, so I'm, I want to do it here. Yeah, so. Shadrach, you told me that you wanted to do this debut in like 2020, pandemic hits, then you get injured last year, and then you said you had an unfinished business on the track, so you did the track season, but you then once you moved to the marathon, you weren't going to hold back. So what does that mean? What does not holding back in the marathon mean for Sunday? Um, you know, like I say, when moving out, I'm going to do it when I was ready. And this is the time for me to ready. It's just natural, like, you know, after you finish the track, it's natural to move up to marathon for most of the people. And I was like, I'm going to do everything I had on the track. And I feel like I've finished most of the stuff on the track. I've accomplished a lot, like, in my side. And it's high time for me now to do to go a little bit further. And this is the time for me to go. And I'm excited. I've been training for this all time. You know, the accumulation of the 5K I've done, the 3K, the Cross country, I've done a lot of road races, so I'm gonna put all the puzzles together and put it together on Sunday. So no holding back for me. I'm just gonna go there and compete, you know, be brave and I belong here. So what can you tell us about your preparation? What kind of training program did you do? So I've done, you know, technically in our training program at the track workouts, like the, when I was doing the track, we used to do a lot of high mileage. Like it's not you know a lot of difference, but what changed this year is the long runs, you know, I've, I changed from 20 miles to 24, 22 miles and 26 mile long runs, so that's the little difference I've changed, and had more mileage, you know, the evening runs, I added more mileage, you know, to double more and, you know, to feel more and to rest more. And who have you been doing most of your long runs with? Oh, uh, the Hami guys, you know, Sam Chelanga, Leonard Corey, Hilary Paul, Paul Chevimo, and and the other guys, so they have been helping a lot, especially doing especially the marathon training. They have been helping me a lot, and you know I'm excited. Yeah. And, and who's been doing the pushing? Sam Chelanga. <laughs> yeah. Sam Chelanga is, you know, I love him. He's always a team player, and Hilary report too, and you know most of the guys they help a lot. And but Sam Chelanga is a little bit more, a little bit more pushy. But yeah, we love him. We love him so much. So Leonard is in this race. Leonard hasn't run a marathon since the Olympic trials, so you have a better idea than everyone else, like what kind of fitness he's in. How did you and Leonard stack up in, in training? Was Were you a little faster? Was he a little faster? Was it dead even? How, how did that look? In training, it doesn't show. We don't, we don't, we don't put, you know, Leonard, we always run like 80%. We don't give all out, so you can't tell in training, but he's, he's, he's really fit. You know, he was supposed to do uh, Chicago, I believe, but he chose New York instead. So, but Leonard is really good, and you know, I'm I'm so excited to have a teammate run with me. Yeah. And you're you with Kuma now. I'm with Kuma. Yes. When did that happen? Um, yesterday. Oh, like, yesterday. Like, like before I came here. Yeah. Oh, wow. yeah. So have you been unsponsored all year? Or? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. And you have a young child at home. So, what's it like getting ready for a marathon? You know, with your wife and a young child. Yeah, this time, you know, I'm racing my the second race after I got my baby and, you know, he motivates me a lot, you know, he's the reason why I push hard, you know. Last, initially, I had no reason to push hard, but now I have a family and they they, they look, look out up to me and, you know, he motivates me a lot, he motivates me a lot, for sure.
you think you could be top American? I know you've raced Galen a lot of times, you've raced Leonard a lot of times. I mean, Scott Fauble, like these are guys you know and you've beaten in the past, and they're in that conversation. That's the main goal. Not even top American, I want to be the top. I just want to win or something. You know? it's, that's the main goal of coming to us, but that's the main goal. I just want to compete with the guys and hopefully I get top American. When was the first time someone ever said to you, like, you could be a good marathoner someday? Uh, every day. Even yesterday. <laughs> even yeah, They always tell me that, like, you know, it's high time to move up and you can be a really good marathoner. And I trust, and I trust my training and for them telling me that again motivates me more. Yeah. Shadrach, you're joining a great tradition of marathon debuts in New York. Meb Kofleski, Dathan Ritzenheim, Elizabeth Colgan, Dina Kester, they all ran their first marathons here. Is that motivating for you that you're going to sort of join that fraternity, that club of people? For sure, you know, even seeing, you know, Meb won a while ago and I saw um, Shalene winning again, it's, it motivates me a lot. And I've been in the Leap Diego and I've been watching marathons every time I come here and you know it motivates me a lot to, to come to New York and to debut in New York. And you know seeing the pastors, the, the Americans that are really and they have been really doing really well. And you know that's why I'm here. I'm here to just for the tradition to go on. We are not gonna stop. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right.